interactive button I'm going to show you how to create simple sign up screen and simple login screen using Figma so let's go this is a, a logo that I just downloaded from online and I'm going to make sure that is centered put it on the center and I'm going to this is going to be my splash screen I'm going to duplicate this get this push it on top and select this and I'll put it here put this here I'm going to zoom in closer make sure this has a corner radius of 10 I'm going to expand it a bit make sure that it's in the center select this reduce the opacity select this bring it here or we could just do something like this reduce the opacity come here add shadow come here increase the shadow effect to 10 so it comes in in both ways i'm going to reduce this to five so it looks like this so now i'm going to add stroke reduce the stroke i'm going to reduce the stroke to look like this now this is not looking nice i'm going to bring it down we use it as our button i'm going to pick this up duplicate this bring it down duplicate again and duplicate again so now this would be our sign up here this will be our button and i'm going to reduce this reduce bring it to the center change it to this color so i'm going to select this pick and that's it so this will be our button we are going to make it interactive let's fill in these places i'm going to select here to be the name i'm going to make this 14 and i'm going to reduce the opacity now i have it in the middle make sure that it's in the middle duplicate this bring it down Okay, take this to the back, take this to the back, our text is at the back. So check this to um, email, duplicate this, press Ctrl D or Command D. Take this to the back, take this to the back. If you're having this issue, just make sure to take that to the back. Save password. Duplicate this. We we'll say retype password. So we're going to open plugin, feather icon, and we'll bring an icon to represent all these things. So I'm going to get the human icon. Get this out. Email icon just search mail and that's it bring it out and here we'll search password bring this out the key out now i'm going to get this out and bring it back in i just select this put it here select this put it here this is for miss email put it here then this i'm going to duplicate this and put it here so we're going to bring an i this put it here this and be here and that's it so we're going to get rid of this because if you're typing your password, it should be open. Let's control Z. Let's bring it back. 
and take it here. I'm going to change the color of my background so I'll be able to see what's out there. So I'm going to bring this out too. I'm going to select this, hold my control button, select this, select this, you know, select the key. I'm going to select this, copy it, delete it, select my frame and paste it back. So these ones are now inside the frame. So what I'm going to do is to select the three of them, select mail, select user, select lock, select lock. I'm going to change the opacity. Go to selection color and change all the opacity. And that's it. I'm going to push it out a bit. I'm going to select this, hold your control and shift button. Select this, select this, select this, and shift. So at the end of the day, we'll have something like this. Now we're going to create something um, so cool. We're going to make this component go to selection color and reduce the opacity. We're going to use this, or uh, we use this instead. Mm, our background is swallowing it. So what we're going to do is to make it like this and change these two also to the same color so two of them will be the same color so i'm going to select the two of them select the two of them come here and say create component set now we have this so what we're going to do is select this um select this come here link it to this and we say on top change to instant then the same thing when we click here it should go back to this one and that's it so now we're going to go back to design select this hold on alternate bring it out bring it in here and now we're going to duplicate this and bring it in here so what this means is that we are going to click this to review our password but it's too big i want to resize it so i'm going to resize it from here Let's change this to 18 18 18 so automatically the changes happens here so i'm going to do the same thing here 18 18 so here i'm going to make sure that is in the middle make sure that this is in the middle too so we have our password i now i'm going to make this to be more faint i'm going to change the color because it's too thick i'm going to change the color to this and i'm going to do the same thing here change the color to this so we'll have this so i'm going to reduce the thickness the thickness i'm going to select this hold my control select this i'll change this to one yeah so do the same thing here open it up select the vector select this vector and change it to one so now it's looking so cool so when we click here i'm going to preview this preview this and as you mean if we type our password if we type our password and we'll click this we'll click on this it will reveal we'll click on this it will hide it click on this the password will reveal click on this it will, it will hide it so that is how we created this now we're going to create our button i'm going to make it very interactive so here i would say sign up this i'll make sure that is in the center my sign up i'll change it to 16 here i'm going to change it to semi bold and I'll, i'm going to select all of them and frame it Select this, make sure that it's in the center. And now we are going to get this. Click here, make and click the component. Now this is going to be the second one. I'm going to select the rectangle inside, double click to se select the rectangle inside. Select the fill button. I'm going to change the color to this. Now I'm going to change it back to what it is. I'm going to select this and change it back to what it is, but now I'm going to make it darker. So when we click on this, when we go to your prototype and link it to this, and when we say on while hovering, while we hover over this, do this instant, 
then now we can also add another button and make it while clicking this gets to this and we say while pressing while pressing so this color we go back to design and give it another color select this to change the color i'm going to use this instead so you see it behave differently hold your alternate button and bring it out alternatively you can go to assets and see the button here all the components that you create is on your asset just drag it out and put it here that's it you can just delete this and bring this here and um, i'm going to make it to the center and here we will preview our work you see when we hover it changes when we hover it changes while we press it it changes to another color when we press it it changes to another color so while you click on it it changes to another color when you hover and you press it it changes to another color so that is the how to create an interactive um, button using figma so we're going to push this down i'm going to write something here and say already have an account already have an account push stop on the just say login so here we'll change this to um this text color like, like this then this we are going to change the weight from semi bold to regular so now we will make this to be centered and when we go back here you will see it so to create our login screen we are going to select this and duplicate it when we duplicate it we are going to remove this get rid of this and get rid of this so at the end of the day we just have this put it in the center make sure this is like this push this up and get this here now here we are going to say don't have an account don't have an account sign up make sure that is in the center so we're going to increase this button go to your button open this frame up get it here i'm going to increase this button to this level get it to this level the same thing i'm going to select 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 and drag it now this i'm going to select 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 so i'm going to push them to the center Select this, bring it to the center. Select this, bring it to the center. Select this, bring it to the center. So now you see that our button has changed. Now we're going to push this to the center and push this to the center. So we have this and that is how it will look. And when we will link this up to this and link this, so we'll see how it behaves. So I'm going to select this, get this after delay. I'll change this to after delay of three seconds, not instant. I'm going to say smart animate and that's it. So when I click here, when I click on this, click here, it should give me this screen and it shouldn't be smart animate. It should be move in. From the right so keep this and when i click here it should give me this and the same thing on top move to the from the right i will just say move out move out move out from the same place so that is what we just created now i'm going to show you how it behaves go back here i'm going to click on restart and this is what happens so mind you this goes up and this one comes in immediately so we're going to solve that problem so what we're going to do now is to select this duplicate it and bring it here 
bring this here and take this up take this up copy this make sure it's on the same position with this and that's it make sure that it's on the same position with this so what we are going to do is we we'll copy this we we'll go to prototype and we'll say after delay get to this after delay get to this one first after delay of 3000 milliseconds smart animates to this one then this after delay gets to this so that is after delay of um 200 200 milliseconds it's not up to one second so that is how this would work so i'll go back to this and restart and you see what happens it goes up and this one comes out of it that is the best design practice so here you see that the button is now working and when we click here you see it and when we click here it goes out when we click here you see it. let's make sure that this okay it has correct that click here it goes out don't have an account login already have an don't have an account sign up already have an account login so that is how to create uh, a simple interactive login sign up and button using uh, figma so i'll see you guys on the next module